the formidable robots. I have memories of my old neighbors, a family with two young boys, one eight and the other four. It all started with the eldest boy's obsession with the DreamWorks film Madagascar. The family owned a portable DVD player along with the entire Madagascar trilogy, and the eldest would watch the movies on repeat. At first, it wasn't a big deal. Sometimes out in public areas, I'd catch glimpses of the boy engrossed in the films while his parents were out running errands. But as time went on, it became apparent that the boy's obsession was starting to become too much. His father, concerned about the effects of screen time, explained to the boy that spending a lot of time watching the movies would rot his brain. The boy's reaction was unstable. He threw a tantrum, ran to his room, and slammed the door shut. I could hear his cries echoing through the walls, as I lived right next to them. One midnight, I was awakened by the sounds of the film blaring from the boy's bedroom. Unable to sleep, I peered out my window and saw nearby neighbors gathering outside, clearly annoyed by the noise. Suddenly the boy's mother answered the front door and confiscated the DVD player and movies, causing the boy to cry himself to sleep. But the next night, the song from the movie, I Like to Move It, could be heard clearly, despite the entire family being fast asleep. I watched as neighbors approached the front porch. One rung the doorbell, only for the door to open by itself. They went inside, but the door slammed shut, and they disappeared inside the house without a trace. The following morning, news broke that the missing neighbors had not been found. And as the days passed, the events continued to escalate. One afternoon, as the parents scolded the boy for his obsession with Madagascar, a chilling scream pierced the air. The sound of things being thrown and people being attacked followed, but when it ceased, the boy continued to watch the movies, glued to the screen as if nothing had happened. The next morning, the family was nowhere to be found. Their home now stood empty and silent, with a for sale sign planted in the front yard. To this day, the fate of them remains a mystery.